minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Hey everybody, Chad Westport here, and we're back with another episode of Just One Thing, and that's where I go out into the grow community and talk with experienced growers about just one thing they think all new growers should know about. And today, I've got one of the raddest names in the cannabis business. We got Fluffykins, aka Fluffs Gardens. How you doing today? I'm good, bud. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic, man. Thank you for joining me. And I love your topic today because this is something like literally for the first couple of years growing, I struggled with. I didn't have a person to give me the advice. So I kind of know what the topic is and I could paraphrase it with don't be scared, homie. But uh, why don't you let everybody know about your just one thing? Yeah, so just one thing for me, it's I think a lot of people screw up because they they listen to the mass media. They listen to a lot of us growers and they listen to us trying to optimize. Mm -hmm. And what they're forgetting is this is a plant that is very easy to deal with. And so, you know, for me, it just don't be afraid of your plant. That plant is not this this beautiful little ginger unicorn that can't that can't take the the that can't take anything you can break these things you can bend these things you can snap these things they will come back they will come back you won't even know it happened. that's that's it's important to me to get out there and play with your garden play with those plants and to experiment you have to be able to know what you can get away with with that plant where you can push it how you can get the most out of it and without experimenting on it without without fucking around and finding out you're never going to know. But yeah. I mean, and most of the time when we think about this, this is uh, lowers just end up being clones <laughs> a lot of times, right? That's, that's new plants to play with. Uh, but unless you're really growing outdoors, uh, lowers are kind of, uh, you're not going to get much out of it. Uh, so it's there, but it's not really serving a purpose. Uh, so you just take it off. Uh, I wish I could get in, move my computer around for a good example, because I have, you know, beautifully stripped plants for my room for LED, you know, to see it. And and that's the thing, right? When you strip those plants and you, and you cut off that piece, you, you haven't done anything to that plant. It didn't hurt it, right? You redirected more energy to the plant, to the rest of it that you left. So what's left is getting more energy, more nutrients, more more of everything. And so the, what's left there is getting bigger and stronger. It's in, so They call it an, an apical dominant plant, apical dominant, dominant plant. So all of the energy to this plant wants to go to the top of the plant, right? So when, and that means uh, the first thing that's going to flower and the thing that's going to get the most nutrients, the thing that's going to grow the biggest is going to be the highest point of that plant. That is, that is uh, the way that plant works. That's why originally it grows in a Christmas tree structure and all of that feeds, you know, up to the top. So when you take those lowers off, um, you know, that all that is um, kind of like tomato growing, right? They, they teach you how to prune suckers off to get bigger, ripe, better tomatoes. And that's really, uh, you know, if you're a kind of a veggie gardener, that's the same type of thing. Those lower buds, you know, they they're not going to get anything show stopping right if if you're using this bud for uh for your for your job for your own personal use there's nothing wrong with it leave it there it ain't gonna hurt a thing uh you, you know use it for your lowers but it is less quality right the quality of that lower it just isn't there 
So why not redirect all that energy and put it into that top where you want it? So, um, but, uh, you know, when you're cutting those, that's exactly the time when you need to start experimenting because you've cut all of these little pieces of plants off. I could go get one and start chopping it apart if you want to see it. But, <laughs> but basically, you know, um, cut some of those lowers off, get them stripped, uh, see how many branches you can take off that, how many leaves, how much you can leave left, stick it in some water, stick it in a root riot plug, stick it in some fair cocoa. Uh, strip different amounts off and then see how fast they root, see how, you know, well they root, if they root, you know, how uh, how much nutrients you're going to have to like foliar feed because, you know, you strip too many of those leaves off and now it doesn't have any, you know, uh, that passive nutrient inside it. So, you know, that's when you're doing those stripping, that's the optimum time to get a bunch of plants made so you can get comfortable with them. So you can work them so you can get, you can make five plants that you can literally try to kill and have six plants over here that are growing for your medicine, right? It's, you don't need to give them that awesome, that awesome environment, torture them a little bit, see what they'll take. I mean, I do that, you know, you, you as well as I, you know, we, we do a little breeding, so we do a little testing. It's, it's important to give them a little bit of a bad life sometimes. <laughs> Because we don't give these genetics to new growers or to experienced growers all the time, right? New growers get them and new growers yeah. make mistakes yep. and old growers make mistakes. So mm -hmm. knowing <laughs> what you can and can't get away with is extremely important. When it starts coming down time for me, now this is for me in my opinion, you know, um, once stretch is over the only thing um i'm going to start trimming is the sucker type branches the lowers that are not going to be what i want them to be i will prune them off from uh from day to flip you know or the day i see them until harvest day i mean just kind of re getting them out uh just because they're annoying they've taken up energy but you know timing wise obviously you really should get that stuff out of the way early that way all that energy gets directed where you want it to go. So but, when you see those ones that are so far behind, uh, you know, they, you have something that looks like it's forming a bud up here and you have those couple hairs and couple sugar leaves down here that are, that you just think it, it's going to make it, man. It's going to catch up. It's going to turn into something. No, it's not. It is absolutely not gonna, um, even even in some of these good genetics, that lower that's that far behind is going to stay that far behind. Yeah. It's just the way it works. So uh, I don't find a reason to trim a seedling, you know, or something that's only got two nodes. Uh, but if, say, I was screwing around in my room and accidentally knocked the top off of that seedling because it's super, you know, a super tender and I was in there screwing around, knocked the top off. It ain't gonna hurt it. It's it's gonna come back. Uh, I pretty much uh, once you have uh, at least a side branch coming off, uh, that plant is pretty well established. And I'm not gonna say bulletproof, but right. pretty hard to screw up. So yeah. uh, I mean, once you have branching, you you pretty much have uh, an established plant that can be played with. Toughening them up, you know, Th think the old school, you know, rub some dirt on it. You know, when you, when your mom said, you know, rub some dirt on that shit, you'll be all right. Same thing, man. If plants, if you broke an arm, they'll just, they'll walk it off. That thing will be all right. It'll, it'll come up with some weird curvy thing, you know, with a weird knuckle down there, but it's going to come up and it's going to be healthy and strong. So. <laughs> well, this um, is this has been this has been awesome, Fluffy. I appreciate you know you coming on and dropping a little bit of knowledge today about you know not being scared with these plants. Uh, it really is amazing how much they can recover from, and you know the healthier the better. But I want to let people know where they can find you. You are on IG, and that is Fluff uh, Fluffykins, as I like to say, but the actual name is Fluffs underscore gardens z yep, at just, the end there yes sir just, just like it is here on here on the screen name uh that's how you can find me on instagram uh i basically just post stupid memes and uh you get to see my plants every once in a while uh 
you can always reach out to me. I, I, I love to help people. Uh, and I really hope that this helps anybody. Uh, if somebody gets something out of this, that's what I'm here for. So that's awesome, man. I, I think it will. I know it will. And I appreciate it. And, you know, one other place that they can find you on a frequent basis is the uh, Caribou Heart TV YouTube channel. Uh, on the regular, you're over there Sundays and Wednesday or Sundays and Tuesdays. Uh, but you also jump in for the Friday shit shows, which is just <laughs> chaos and fun. It's, it's a carnival over there. Yeah. If you don't mind me throwing in a little plug for my brothers, a little shameless promotion, man. We. Please. <laughs> we 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 are kind of a, a bunch of let's call us a bunch of just goofy rejects man we're we're a bunch of guys who uh, we're real growers uh we will tell you what's going on and we don't we don't uh pull punches uh we have a lot of fun and um amazingly enough there's a lot of knowledge to go around we we love to help uh we're all about passing out the knowledge so uh Come by, have some fun. Uh, we have shows on all the time. Uh, Caribou Heart TV. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. And everybody watching, these will be linked down in the show notes. Uh, so just head on down there. You can click his IG. You can click the Caribou Heart TV YouTube channel. And uh, don't forget about us because we'll be back with another episode of Just One Thing. So I hope you enjoyed today. And don't be scared, homie. Hit the like button. <laughs> Peace out.